1406 this is the old one and we're gonna be replacing it with the Edelbrock ABS 2 which looks a whole lot better and I've seen nothing but good reviews on this so let's see You want to go through here? This thing? Uh, that might, when we get it lifted, it might be able to unscrew them. Okay. You know what, buddy? This, oh, this one doesn't have a little spacer, right? It just sits right on the freaking. Or on the top of the intake. Surprisingly. Usually you have to have a. What's it called? A, uh, a spacer or something like that. An adapter. Which I bought it anyways. Just in case we needed it. See it's dripping? It's like gas or something. Yeah, coming out of the bubbles. Yeah. What? Oh, <clears throat> you took it off like a pro, man. I no. thought you didn't know nothing about this carbs. I don't. Okay. What's up with that? What? Why this bolt is so long? I don't fucking know. They try to wing it or some shit when they put it on. Uh, I don't know shit about carburation, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That does not look good. You think they just put it on just to keep it on there or what? I'm thinking that's some kind of vacuum port, but that could be a, a source of a vacuum leak if it's not sealing right. Oh, shit. Maybe, so, maybe someone in your comments will know. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah, I need that adapter. Guess they didn't want to go to back to AutoZone or something. And like, hey, we'll just do something real quick. Too. Pretty much switching almost everything. 
We switched the intake manifold for the Edelbrock. We did the MSD spark plugs wires. And then we did the ProBullet um, distributor right there. Although it's so dirty, you can't even tell they're upgrades. And then we did the timing chain right there. A new water pump. And then Robert changed the uh, power steering pump, everything. And you have the uh, electric radiator. Long tube headers, Corsa exhaust. I mean, this is pretty much the last piece of the puzzle. Was. Like if this doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to trade you for that Sonic right there. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a problem. You got a dead cylinder. Cylinder, whichever one it's connected to, is dead. Oh shit! And the number four, the back, back cylinder back here. That spark plug wire is completely trashed. You know what? That happened when uh, I think I took it to the last transmission shop. Mm -hmm. I noticed that shit. So this one did came with a gasket. All right. And I saw that whenever I got it, the bag was open. And I told the dude, hey, do you have another one? Because I don't want to, you know, run to any issues. We're missing something. He didn't have another one, but he looked in the system to see exactly what it came with. And everything was here. Yeah. So I was all right, cool. it out by my hand. <laughs> so you don't even know your own strength, man. I'm telling you. Just the card then. So we didn't need the adapter. Alright. And that's just because we don't have double Yeah, there's not two holes there. Two holes in here. Just have one, so alright. And the only one we took out, the 1406, didn't even have the adapter on there, too, so. So once you tighten the bolts against each other, they lock. And now you can use a hole, I see. A bolt spinning. Yep. And then it'll lock it in there. And unfortunately, this is the wrong size ratchet. I mean, the wrong size wrench, but. And then you can take them back off. Nice. This wasn't connected. I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to connect into there. Is that connected? Okay. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. Look at that thing, man. Robert, the car guy. No. <laughs> Don't tarnish the good name of some of the real guys. <laughs> I mean, to that, but then what? No, nah, that won't go in. No, 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 but that one's not going to be. Wait, which yeah, one's the one that's connected? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is that one. Yeah, I need this one. Okay, though, because there's a little clip right here. Okay. okay. So, what's all left to do? Uh, put on this cable. Wait, you put all the. everything, all the lines up? Yeah. The two vacuum lines here, the vacuum cap, the fuel line, 
the electronic choke, the ground for the choke. The ground for the choke, and then you connected it with the other thing because it was disconnected? Yeah. The first put, time? Uh, the, the instructions say to put it to the body. Yeah. So I did. It says put it to the car body or ground. I put it to the car body. Nice. Get my fat ass fingers in there. Can you see any gas going in it? No, I can't. Oh, let me try and think it It's got to yeah. pull that whole fucking line. Yeah, I can't see anything. Let's try and just move it. Just the, the idle. Mm -hmm. Clockwise, richer, counter, or er, let counter clockwise. Oh, shit, <laughs> man. So that's it. The truck started running pretty good. We switched it all the way to the, actually, to the top hole. Right there. And I did it. It's not running rich anymore. And and we're good to go. Robert's the lucky charm. Nah. This is magic touch. You work tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, no, actually I'm off. Oh, okay. Well, I won't see you tomorrow. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. Bye. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up the video like this. Um, just because it's really late, but. Stay tuned for the next video because uh, I haven't showed you really what the outside looks like of the truck because uh, we have upgraded a, a part that makes the truck looks looks totally different pretty much. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this uh, video helped. This is more or less, more or less like a, a video that's going to help you pretty much those that want to upgrade the carburetor to the ABS2 and how to set it up or what it does or what kind of issues I had. You know, um, but uh, you guys, if you like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, go ahead and comment. And if you have any questions, if, if I can answer them, then I'll go ahead and answer them. If not, I could try to figure out the best of my knowledge. Um, but shout out to the boy Robert, always coming through. That man, if you don't know something, he'll figure it out. The boys, that man's IQ can boil water. We're gonna clean up the engine, make sure it looks nice. We're gonna clean up the wires again gonna make it look presentable thank you for watching to the next one